all right everyone it is all planted for now until i get ready to start this strip and the clover strip and we'll do it all again with my some of my new stuff i'm going to use but uh i've got just about really everything i'm going to do here i set out russian mammoth sunflowers i set out black oil uh, sunflowers that's your basic run-of-the-mill sunflower the russians are giants and uh, i'm trying to offer the deer some zinc when those sunflowers get going but whatever they don't eat if the birds don't take the seeds the deer can eat those seeds later on especially when they're after grains during the uh, fall for oak nuts and stuff like that so real quickly what i have done is i tilled or actually i came in i hand broadcasted everything and then I did a light return till over the top. I mean, I was literally skimming the ground no more than an inch, just enough to fluff up the dirt to cover it and uh, try to override what tilling can do as far as damage to the soil. I know I've, I've turned the top, very, very top part off and moved it around, but uh, I'm trying to prevent a lot of what they call panning which is when you're when your teeth dig in a lot of people don't think this is where you get kind of tricked is when those teeth dig in and scoop that soil out it's made a hard spot under the ground so you'll get maybe three four five six inches depending on how big your tiller is of what you think is soft dirt and then in a few rains it starts settling down and compacting again and it makes it harder for plants to grow so over time, I have reduced my tilling depth, trying to prevent hard panning, even though it still does it. It's just not quite as bad as it used to be, which I'll take that result over what I used to do. So now that I've got the planting out of the way, I'm going to show you what I have planted in here. And uh, it's, I mean, it's not like nothing, nothing really spectacular to harp on. But just to show you what you'll probably be following during the summer, I've got uh, eagle seeds items here. I used to do some real world soybeans, but I am, guys, I'm not, I'm just going to tell you straight up, I'm not sponsored, nor do I really care to be. I just like doing this stuff and try to help people out. So here I've got. Uh, the gamekeeper version of their soybean and it has a few vining soybeans so those black seeds are your vines mixed with some large lad and big fellow uh, this is the newest soybean that they've put on the market i've been doing test runs i only purchased one bag i'm not going to go head over heels over something it's brand new until i've tested it myself and last year size wise compared to what i had uh it was shorter there were fewer pods uh, leaf sizes were, were okay uh it, i know i wrote seven leaf on here but it's actually i found as many as 12 to 13 leaves on one stem but we'll get to see what happens this year with this uh, i've added another plant species to my food plot that is okra and the reason i've added okra is there are many benefits to okra and i'll do another video on this later on but uh, one of the things is is my method of tilling the soil where i talked about the hard pan here okra have extremely strong tap roots deep tap roots they will penetrate a hard pan uh tilled up plot so I want okra to penetrate the ground, get as deep as it can to pull nutrients out of the ground that maybe my other plants cannot get to. And then when it comes time to build new soil or make a fall crop, I've got a new set of nutrients that have better access to the plants. And then I can keep getting better and better growth. Just like this right here was extremely poor ground back in the day and would not grow jack crap. And it looks pretty good now for its first year and with cereal rye in it. So that's one of the things I'm trying to do is find species of plants that will override 
some of the damage I'm doing here. And that way, when you come back in and till this down, that tap root will be below the cutting line of your tiller. So guess what's gonna happen? You cut that, it's gonna rot out and leave an open hole. So and then your new crop comes in and it's got something to go through and it can help override your tilling methods. And another thing is, uh, okra has many other benefits and I'm just gonna list one for you here real quick. Uh, okra is a natural dewormer for deer. So if you have deer that have issues with worms or parasites, plant you some okra in there and when they eat it, uh, that should help clean out their guts, which will be a big benefit to the size of your deer down the road. Here we have sun hemp. That is nature's number one nitrogen producer for your soil. Grows extremely large and grows very fast. Uh, I've got iron clay, mung bean that I will be uh, adding sparsely down this strip right here when I'm ready to. Uh, let's see here. I've got buckwheat right here. That's probably about the cheapest set of seed that I had to purchase was the buckwheat. Uh, I don't sow that too terribly thick because you can run into problems if you watch my pros and cons video. I try to keep that at a decent level but not overbearing on my crops. That helps improve my soil and helps improve the surrounding plants as well. Uh, this is also Eagle Seed Large Lad. This soybean grows up to, I want to say, 84 inches in height, which is uh, right around 7 feet this is big fellow this is their most nutritional soybean that they offer they have up to uh, claims of 42 percent on this large lad now real quickly now that you've seen kind of what i'm setting out here uh, the 42 percent deal if you plant this and do your tissue test not many of you if you i mean if you have really really good soil you're going to probably hit that 42 or be extremely close. With my type of soil, when I first planted this, I was probably getting 22, 23, maybe 24% out of this. And now that I've improved the soil, I think it's now into the low 30s, maybe pushing toward the mid 30s if I'm lucky. Um, still, I've got more improvements to do. But with all these rocks in here, that's going to be a big hindrance. And it's going to take a long time to keep building enough soil to override that, even though it, it doesn't take as long to build as, a lot of soil as you think. I'm not talking like hundreds of years when you're done and dead and gone, if somebody's still doing it, they've gained three inches of soil. You can gain it way faster than that. So that's pretty much what I've done as far as planting goes. And uh, when I do this strip right here, this is going to be loaded with different types of summer blends in here. It'll have uh, sorghums in it, you know, short stumpy milo, mun bean, iron clay. There's going to be different species growing here. It's going to have a little sun hemp, a little, uh, I believe it's Laredo soybeans. And then when I get over here to the clover that's over there that you can barely see that will be my deer vetch uh, okra a little bit of sun hemp and maybe um i might throw in a sunflower or two in there i haven't quite decided yet but you'll get to see a multitude of different species here so hopefully if you see something in the video down the road that hey I'd like to, you know, know a little more about that. I am more than happy to do that. Just like, uh, you know, these tall guys, these big leaf guys growing here, that's chicory. So I've got that mixed in there too. All right, guys, um, planting is mostly done and we're very close to getting all my summer planting done. I'm gonna give this maybe two more weeks and then it's gonna be time to turn that down. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy this video, and if you like this content, hit that like and subscribe button, and uh, hope you enjoy this channel. You all have a great day.